Hi, my name is Matthew Collins, celebrity hairstylist and Dyson Supersonic Ambassador. And I'm here today at the Hudson's Bay at the Supersonic Counter. Today I'm going to show how you can combat frizzy hair using the Dyson Supersonic. So today I'm here with Christine and Christine has medium frizzy hair. And I want to show you guys at home how to get your medium to very frizzy hair dry and frizz free in a short amount of time. So the first thing you want to do is you want to apply your smoothing serum to your mid links and ends to start the look before you even touch it with a blow dryer. You want to then brush through to make sure that the product is evenly saturated. I want to use my styling concentrator because it has a much more focused airflow when I'm round brushing. I take my clip, comb, or your fingertips and you take out a small to large triangle section that is going to encompass both sides of the part, whether you're parting it on the side or the center. When I'm using my Dyson Supersonic with a round brush, I want to put the speed up to high and I want to put the heat up to high. So level three on both sides. And I'm going to start by pulling the hair out and stretching it out. If you see what I'm doing here, you see the blow dryer is going with the grain of the hair. So I'm coming towards the ends and when I get to the ends, I really want to work the hair. Once I feel like I've worked the ends quite a bit this way, I'm going to flip it and I'm going to put the brush in the top and I'm going to round brush down and away from the head. And then once I'm finished, I put this section up, I heat it up, and I let it sit in my brush for a few seconds to let it cool, and then I take the brush out. Now I can separate it on the side or the middle, and she's gonna have this nice smooth section overlaying the rest of the hair. If your hair is medium to very frizzy, something that you're probably going to need to tackle before you use your fingers is the area around your temple, which tends to be the most frizzy area. What I need to do is I need to push forward with my brush and then back, and now I've got that tension locked in and I can just smooth out those little hairs very quickly. Forward and back, and I will step over to this side quickly, and I go back and forward. Now I'm gonna to move to the tousle dry. I use the styling concentrator when I'm using a round brush or flat brush, but when I'm using my hands, I like to switch to the smoothing nozzle. So with that, I'm going to work through her entire hairline at the root, and you can see how I'm not pushing the hair down. I'm pushing the hair away with my fingers so that I'm causing the roots to dry facing up. So when they come back down, the roots will dry with volume. I'm now gonna start taking my flat paddle brush to get her all the way dry. I'm gonna switch back out to the styling concentrator. I'm gonna take my round brush again and I'm just gonna take four large sections and round brush those ends for maximum smoothness. I'm going to re-grab my Dyson Supersonic with the styling concentrator and my round brush. And I just want to roll these ends into the brush. You want to really heat up that hair shaft, then turn off your Supersonic, twist it, and just let it rest. And you can see she's got that movement and that extra smoothness. So now the final touch is you add a teardrop size of smoothing serum in your hands and you really emulsify it through so that you just have the shine to your hair. Now starting from the mid links down, I just want to apply it to add that extra smoothness through the links and ends. Don't apply this on the root at all. And there you go, just some simple easy tricks to keep your hair frizz free at home.
thank you all for joining me today. I hope you guys have an easy and simple time doing this at home with your Dyson Supersonic. For more information, visit the Dyson Supersonic counter at the Hudson's Bay or visit thebay.com. See you later.